Greetings. Then I want to speak to you concerning the storehouse of riches that is within you. And that is stated in the Bible in Malachi chapter 3. But you have to understand the Bible metaphysically and esoterically to understand that it all has to do with the human psyche. And once you understand that everything has to do with your mentality, then you will know that you can only tap into the stores of riches based on your mentality. You see, there's a time in your life that you might be broke, but you're not actually poor. You see, poor, being poor is a state of mind. It has to do with the psyche. And that is why it's very important for you to understand that the Bible adjusts the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That it is not literal, neither is it secular history. So in Malachi chapter 3, where I speak about that God when I open up this storehouse and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to store that blessing. It is speaking about that place where you have all of your intentions, that place of mind where you can create, where you can shape, where you can mold, where you can discover that the pattern is your imagination, your higher self, your inner self, your true essence. Therefore, do not look on the outside to find the kingdom of God. Do not look on the outside to find that treasure. You see, it is where your heart is. There's where your treasure would be also. And that is speaking of your biography. Uh, your biology, I mean. That is speaking of your biology. Okay, because it is taking place inwardly. And so, the place of emotion is where you will have the feeling that your wish is already fulfilled. So, it is speaking of thoughts and emotion when it's speaking about where the treasure is and there is where your heart would be also. Therefore, if you would understand how thoughts become things and how when you have an intention, how the science of alchemy is taking place inwardly, then you would realize what it really means when you speak about mind over matter. You really understand what it really means when it says that if you give first, to God, I higher self. If you focus on your inner self first, this is where you will be paying attention to the most important part of your existence. And it says that there would be a reward, and that reward would be a great blessing that you will not have room to store it because why? you tap into the place of creativity, the kingdom where all things are possible to you. So that kingdom of creativity is where you would get the inspiration to act in your capacity, uh, ability, and what you would deliver, it would be beneficial, not just for yourself only, but for also the rest of humanity. So, Greatness is actually within you if you would understand that the storehouse of riches and our blessing lie within you. Therefore, do not let anyone point you to look outside of yourself to say, low here or low there. I'm saying that the kingdom of God is within you. And as I come to a close here, there's so many people who are going to church every Saturday and Sunday and giving physical money to their denomination and saying that they're paying tithes and offering and the, the bible in malachi 10 3 10 sorry says that try me now and see okay it's a challenge try me now and see if i will not open the storehouse okay and pour you out a blessing the storehouse of, of heaven okay and pour you out a blessing that you not have room enough now if that was literal and 
if the way they are going about it was actually the right way, then the richest people in the world would have been religious superstitious people. But if you really look back at 2020 to 2022, you see the people who are willing to be injected. You see the people who are willing to take the experiment. You see the people who are willing to be slaves. The people who are willing to be controlled because they were owing to the banks. And the Bible itself tells you in Proverbs 22 that the rich ruled over the poor and that the borrower is a slave to the lender. And the reason why they end up being slaves is because they've been looking outwardly when they're supposed to be looking inwardly. And they continue to believe that the Bible is literal and secular history. So they're taking personification for persons and they're taking allegory for history. And that is keeping them within a mindset of a lack and mediocrity, a mindset of scarcity, a limited mindset. But if you want to come into a limitless mindset, you have to tap in to the innate ability that is within you that you can definitely use to live life on your own terms on this planet and to free yourself from the matrix that wants to keep you control. So my brother, my sisters, as I come to a close here, let me say that the main message I want to get across to you is to look within yourself for all the answers of life and to live the best version of your life here. Look within because everything that you will ever need in this life, it is within you. Learn about spiritual alchemy and use your thought forms to create your reality consciously. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, and you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And uh, I'll also encourage you to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And this is where I'm opening up the Bible to you metaphysically and esoterically and teaching you that it all has to do with the human psyche. And if you apply the recipes in your life, your life will change tremendously. So I'll definitely encourage you to get a copy of that book from Amazon and get one for a friend or family member and share the knowledge. This kind of knowledge needs to be shared all around the world. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. However, I have a course there for people who are doing it in $20 more dollars. It's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. So if you feel strongly led to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so by becoming a $20 patron. Also, if you'd like to get some coaching, uh some mentoring you can definitely reach out to me by way of email or if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, you can reach out to me by way of email and as long as we come to this decision we can definitely work together however just before i leave you i just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work that we have a paypal and that the link is always down below so with that being said my brothers and my sisters i just want to say peace love you all um out